Hey what's up guys, it's Austin here from Royal Highness Python and in today's video I got a clutch update for you guys and I also have a clutch cutting but before we get into that I just want to do a huge shout out to Eve's Exotic Pets thank you so much for the shirt and they're not slacking on the back definitely not Canadian well I shouldn't say definitely because I'm actually not sure where they're from I believe it's out in Europe if not the UK so thanks again for the shirt and so we're gonna do a clutch cutting today and an update before the clutch cutting it's gonna be that clutch I cut a few videos a few videos ago if not the last video where it was the spot nose yellow belly slash asphalt 100% head clown to the vanilla clown female and we hit those really two clown combos spot nose clown combos so uh, we're gonna cut those last two eggs and they're a little bit moldy so I'm a little bit risking it but we'll do it anyway and we'll see what we get so let's go check that out right now so if you guys don't remember, this is the clutch where there was many males paired to that pastel Enchi girl and I wasn't sure who the father was. Turns out it was the pastel vanilla clown, almost said Enchi. But we'll start off with this one right here. And this is a super pastel vanilla 100% head clown. And since they're all shed out, let's see what it is. It's a boy, sadly. So we'll go to this one next. This is a pastel Enchi, possible vanilla, head clown. And I think this one's gonna turn out vanilla. Really wacky pattern. Not as clean as your typical Enchis. And if you couldn't already tell, vanilla really whacks out the pattern, brings a lot of banding and all these little dots inside. So let's just sex this one. Another boy. Damn, we're getting killed on the odds so far. So here we have a pastel vanilla or a super pastel vanilla Enchi 100% hit clown. And let's just check real quick. Oh, female, cool. So this one's definitely going to be staying back. Really like the wacky pattern. Real nice hold back. I guess we'll do this one since it's here. And this is just a pastel 100% hit clown. Might as well sex it too. So this is a female. And we have another pastel head clown. Almost thought these were vanilla because they're really blushed out head in the wacky pattern, but not as blushed out as some of the other pastel vanilla head clowns I've made in the past. And another female, wow. <laughs> not the ones I wanted to be female. And lastly, we have this Enchi Vanilla 100% Head Clown. And I really like the head stamp on it. Usually Enchis do not have a head stamp unless you mix pastel. But Vanilla really brings it out. And once again it whacked out the pattern bringing all these dots in. And let's just see what this one is. And it's a female, cool. So I'm maybe holding that one back as well. Really cool clutch, sorry for blocking the light and just back a bit really cool clutch great that they're all head clowns probably holding back most of the females the rest will be for sale so if you're interested take a look for that and let's get right into the clutch I'm gonna cut so this clutch right here is that clutch from a couple videos ago where the battery died and I lost the footage of the first two eggs cutting and we lost the intro so I had to redo that so now we're gonna cut the last two eggs that were really moldy it's day 53, so there's two days usually, two or three days till they come out. So I feel comfortable enough to cut these eggs today. And if you take a quick look into here, we have a spot nose, yellow belly slash asphalt combo. Probably, uh, probably not no vanilla in that one, but if this one, if it wasn't upside down. It's a lot brighter, so this one might have vanilla. It might be a vanilla spot and it's yellow belly clown or asphalt. So we don't know yet. Got to wait a few more days till they come out of the egg. But right now, we're going to get to these bad boys. So, fingers crossed that we get some really good luck. Mold gold at its finest. We got some yellow gold color coming over here. I don't know if you guys can see. But that's definitely mold gold to me, so come here, pop this up a bit, there we go, nice little line to cut, and here we go, and right here 
here it looks like we got a clown combo hard to say exactly what it is super reduced not too sure what would make it too reduced maybe it's a vanilla clown Definitely gotta go check that one. It could be a yellow belly slash ashball clown. So we'll give that a couple of days, two or three days to get out. And to the last baby now. And I can feel him moving inside or her. And hopefully we hit some more mold gold. And crinkle all this up here. Like a spot nose, yellow belly slash asphalt, hit clown. So it's still very cool. You can see its head right there. Don't want to mess with him too much. I'm gonna put. Wait a second. I thought there might have been two snakes in here. That would have been crazy. But nope. It's because the pattern over here and the pattern over here are very different in color that'd be crazy but it might be some paradoxing you never know so stay tuned to when we cut these eggs right here this I believe is my enhancer g-stripe to a vanilla clown female and so I, I'm not too sure off the top of my head gotta go check my records but really excited for that to make some nice triple heads and get vanilla in the mix so hopefully in the future I can hit a super vanilla enhancer G-Stripe clown. That would be insane. So thanks so much for tuning into this video. Killed the odds, I guess. We had three clowns out of five eggs from a head to an actual visual clown. So super excited. And I just realized I did not mention the pairing. I will do that. I'll put it somewhere. Maybe I mentioned it in the intro. I'm not too sure. So if you guys, maybe I did. I'm just <laughs> losing it. Maybe from Billy. So if you really want. Yeah, fudge, man. Damn, this is going to be cut out for sure. That's going as a blooper at the end. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and peace out.